Hey y'all, my name is Reed Pinkard. I'm a senior conference ambassador this summer and I'll be giving you a tour of Gregson Hall today. But before we take a step inside, we're just gonna look around. Yeah. Um, so over here, we have a dining hall known as 1021. It's one of my favorites. You can go there for breakfast and lunch up until about four o'clock every day. Within that downstairs is also a Starbucks. Um, if you're anything like me, you're gonna order a black cold brew whenever you get to campus, it's pretty great. You also have Founders, which is a lot of different restaurants that you can eat at dinner and use your meal swipe for. On the yeah. other side of Gregson, if you're interested, or are in band, the music hall is right there. Good to yeah. know, might hear some sounds. Uh, 1021 has a lot of different places you can stop for food. Is there a particular stop that you like the most? Um, I can never remember the name of it. Yeah. There's a place where it's like vegan, vegetarian, whatever nice but they have a really good burrito bowl that's like vegan and it's amazing and i think that that's honestly i go there every time fantastic yeah, yeah. very good very good yeah. oh anna's selling us best hall ever exactly. I, probably an alum from gregson it is a great hall smaller and fantastic um if you're chiming in if you're here let us know where you're chiming in from so we can say hello to you um someone's asking about 326 we'll be touring uh floor one yeah. But uh, if you're on floor one, let us know and we might be able to dip into your room. Awesome. Okay. With that, we'll just go ahead and head inside. Mm -hmm. um, but as we're walking inside, I'll talk about kind of the placement of Gregson on campus. Um, it's pretty great. You're in central campus. So uh -huh. It's not far to walk to anything, and I think that's really beneficial. Gregson Lodge is right there. It's the old name. Yeah. Exactly. Still, still call it sometimes Gregson yeah. Lodge. But. Um, but as we're walking up here, we'll take a look at the front desk and also the CRE of Gregson Hall. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, we'll let her introduce herself. First. Well, hello there. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Doing great. Good. Uh, my name is Mackenzie. Uh, as Reed said, I'm the CRE or Coordinator for Residence Education for Gregson Hall. Mm -hmm. And what does a CRE do? Yes. So primarily I'm supervisor for the RA staff, the resident mm -hmm. assistant staff. Um, but I also do programming. I know a lot of resources on campus. So any resident that's struggling or needs any advice, they can come to me. I got an enthusiastic McKinsey from someone on yeah. here. So that's good. <laughs> that's good to see. You can wave to that person. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, is there any sort of, we have a lot of uh, maybe some first year students who are showing yeah. up. Any advice for them? Yeah, so get to know your professors like early on, first couple weeks, go to their office hours. Pro tip, they're bored. Mm -hmm. I have two professor parents, they're bored in their office hours. Um, so go get to know them. It makes it a lot easier to get help from them later on. Yeah, yeah. and uh, hello to um, LEH from Texas. Uh, uh, good to see you. Room 238 is actually not on the tour today. We'll be on the first floor. And Marquise, love that you love Gregson. Hey, it's a great hall. It is a great hall. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, great. Awesome. Um, thank you for introducing yourself, Mackenzie. Appreciate it. Yes. Have yeah. fun on the tour. Okay, we'll keep on moving then. Uh, okay, hi yeah. again. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the front desk. So your front desk is usually going to be staffed by, during the day it's going to be an adult desk admin. In the evening there will be RAs sitting here and also on the weekend RAs will sit at this desk to help you with anything that you need. Um, so if you're checking out supplies uh, for like some of the like amenities downstairs, which we'll get to later, you can come here. Mm -hmm. Also, this is where you're gonna check out packages. Like you can see here, here are the package hours for Gregson. Um, but yeah, the only other thing that we're gonna look at right here before we get to the room and go everywhere else is also the mailboxes. Yes, okay. So we have our mailboxes right here. So they coordinate with your room number. Mm -hmm. um, in your housing portal, you're also going to get a code for them and it'll be a three digit code and you will them right here yeah you could find that in my details yes in the housing portal and also if you just can't figure it out and scan this and you're there is that little bit of assistance right there if you need that communication yeah yeah well great well so if you'll help me remember one person asked about measuring the interior of the closet so when we get in there we'll do we'll that, do that. Yeah. and someone mentioned seeing room 127 and we are going to room floor one so we can probably hit that um and 138 so we'll see what we can do on the first yeah. floor uh, yeah Where's next? We're just gonna go ahead and head downstairs okay. and get some of the common areas. Yeah. The interesting about interesting thing about Braxton is that there are a lot of large common areas, especially in the basement area. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are a lot of places to hang out if you don't want to stay in your room or go anywhere else on campus. Right. And it's also very accessible. One thing I will say though is you'll be seeing us going up and down a lot of stairs because there is not an elevator. In no Braxton. elevator. Be be prepared for that. No elevator. So we come down here and there's this long hallway, but we'll go this way because that's okay. where the common areas are. Yeah. Um, 
And Reed, if you don't mind me asking, where are you? Where are you from? I am from Mount Pleasant, Texas. Okay. Um, which is in the East Texas area, but I grew up all around there. I see. I see. What what brought you to the University of Arkansas? Both of my parents are from Arkansas. They okay. did not go to school here. They just wanted me to. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, there are uh, way more opportunities here than a lot of other places I applied to. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Glad this, to hear it. We come in here. This huh? is the library. So, of course, we have some board games up there. Um, books. I think those are like a lot of yearbooks if you're ever interested in looking at what's been going on at the University of Arkansas, you can check those out. But there's a lot of seating. You can come in here and chill out. Uh, there is a fireplace. Don't, does not look like it functions. Um, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. just imagine that there's a fire there. Right, um, right. Put yeah. your laptop there and run exactly. fire off of Netflix. Um, it's pretty great. As we walk over here, there's more uh -huh. seating and things like that. So you can sit right here. Um, there's a TV. You can hook up movies and stuff. Sure. And TV. That. And for everyone tuning in, we are in the basement area of Gregson Hall on the, in the central part of campus right now. Yes. Um, we're going to go ahead and head in here. This is going to be like a kitchen area, so of course it comes with your ice machine, mm -hmm. a public fridge that anyone can use. Popeyes. To, oh, was there Popeyes? There's some Popeyes in there. Oh, Popeyes. Yeah. <laughs> a I summer thought, treat. I about the chicken restaurant. I was like, oh. what? Oh, no, 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 not Popeyes. <laughs> but they do have good sandwiches. But, um, this is public for anyone to use. Yes. Just make sure you label your stuff. That's what I would recommend. Um, also, we have a microwave, some cabinet space, an oven, um, a stovetop. Uh -huh. One uh -huh. thing that I want to point out, like we were talking about checking out things at the front desk, you don't need to bring pots and pans to campus. You can check those out from the front desk with the desk admin or if there's an RA there. It uh, makes it very, very convenient. Please um, please return them clean. Yes, please. That's helpful them. for everybody. And there's a sink right here to wash them. There is. There is yeah. a sink. Um, and oftentimes they'll have soap down here. I think I would still oh. recommend probably bring your own if you're looking at Yeah, a little dish soap office. for yourself. Um, there's, there's a blender. blender, which I've yeah. never seen a blender in any of the doors. Nice, nice. Um, Get so that yeah. blender for your, for your uh, smoothies, if yeah. you want to make a smoothie. Um, there's a room right beside it, and this is the laundry room. Okay. So there's five washers and six dryers. Okay. Um, the biggest thing that's changing about laundry this year is we're going to be utilizing the Speed Queen app. So before you get to campus, if you can download that and kind of set it up to say that you're going to be at the University of Arkansas, that would be amazing. You'll get two washes a week. Um, after you run out of all those washes for the semester, it'll be $1.50 for every wash after that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and when I say two washes, that's a wash and a dry. So that's yeah. two cycles of wash dry per week. Um, also, when you do download the app, um, try to find your school. I think you'll be prompted yes. to finding the University of Arkansas rather than creating your own account. Yeah, exactly. And you'll, it'll hook you up to the account where you'll have credits already loaded. Yeah. So nothing too crazy going on here. Some do of these spaces go ahead. Um, have tables to sit at mm -hmm. um, and do uh, like homework and stuff while you're waiting on your laundry. This isn't large enough, but there are tables right out there to sit at, which yeah. I recommend doing. And do you use powder? Do you use pods? Or what's your, what's your way of doing it? I generally use pods. Uh -huh. I think it's the most convenient. Um, but that's just me. I know people that use like the liquid detergent. Yeah, yeah. But use what you want. Pods are super convenient. Yeah. A little expensive, but super convenient. Exactly. Is there a laundry on each floor, Leighton asks? Uh, no, it's all down here in the basement. Yeah. Um, we also have these vending machines. So. These are contactless vending machines. You can mm -hmm. definitely just scan your debit card, but they're also accepting Razor Bucks. So if you have Razor Bucks downloaded into your account, you can use your student ID to do that. Um, and we also have this vending machine mm -hmm. um, as well, which does the same exact thing. And you can actually pay with your phone on this one. I don't know if you can do it on those though. Yes, I was seeing if they have my favorite flavor of chips and they don't, but that's okay. <laughs> Oh, they got the voodoo chips, so those are really good. Yeah. Zaps voodoo. Um, we also have a pool table. Again, you check out all the supplies for that at the desk. Um, there is a communal restroom here, so if you're down uh -huh. here with people that don't live in this building, that would be a great place. It's a to good see. one to use, yeah. And and when it comes to guests, uh, what would you say? I mean, you could generally bring guests into the hall. Yeah, I mean, there's not really too much of a rule against it. I mm -hmm. think the the largest thing is like when we have finals and quiet hours. Yeah, you can still bring guests over. It's just recommended that you kind of. Stay quiet. Right. Which you I have, think would be true for at any point. We do have this formal quiet yeah. hours during that time too. So. Desk. Um, and then another study room, which we'll just go ahead and walk through. Yeah. Yeah. If we lose contact, it's because we're in the basement of Gregson and we'll be right back. So don't worry yeah. about that. And it looks like someone was in here working earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Working on some something important. Yeah. 
Very good. Uh, okay. But that is the basement area of Gregson. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's awesome. There's a lot of things to do if you're just stuck in your door, especially when it, if we inevitably get an ice storm again. Yes. Um, and we do typically have, what would you say, one to two snows a year? Yeah. The past couple of years, they've been a little worse than the years before. Uh huh. Uh huh. But. You like to live where you're living. Yeah, and, and honestly, they become events. Yeah. Like when you when it snows here, people get out and also, sled. When you're on this, like in central campus, uh -huh. you have such easy access to everything when it does that. You don't have to worry about walking up too many hills, and also there's a gigantic hill over there that you can't see. Yes, there is a gigantic hill. And okay, now, so we're gonna head over the first floor, and we're gonna check out. Um, Let's see how close we are. Yeah, let's do the bathrooms first. And then we got a couple of requests for specific rooms, and we'll hit what we can hit. There's a lot of these water fountains everywhere. Mm -hmm. I think they're awesome. You can fill up your water bottle, water bottle right here. Um, and just utilize that whenever. Yeah. I would say most people keep water bottles in their backpack and yeah. have them everywhere. I recommend, especially coming to campus in the summer. How many stairs to the first floor that we just went up? How many stairs or just how many stairs? How many stairs? I want to say between 25 and 30. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. But here's one of the public bath bathrooms on the first floor. Yes. Um, when you walk in, you can see a bunch of sinks. Oh, there was a question about how many stairs to the first floor. And I was thinking maybe that was from the, from the exit of the building. Yeah. And so probably there, there were maybe six. Yes. yes. I think that sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, but there are a bunch of sinks in here. So. Okay. Looking at the bathroom here. Also, a lot of mirrors, so if you like to look at yourself before you leave, like I do, mm -hmm. you're good to go. Yeah. Um, but plenty of amenities here to use when you need them. That last minute fit check before yeah. you head out. Uh, we also have our toilets, so just to prove that they are here, you will have them working. Right, um, right. Yeah. And then let's check out the shower. The shower is actually pretty nice. Yeah, the shower is very nice. Um, what I like about what housing does with the showers is that they will have kind of double coverage, I like to call it. So they have one door that closes and then a second one. So whenever you do get out of the shower, you can keep this, the first door you got too close to change into whatever clothes you're, you're getting in and then leave. Yeah. Uh, you have a dressing room area right here, which I'll show. There is a, yeah, there's a little bench there to sit. And then you have hooks, hook there, and things like that. Yeah. Right. That's the general bathroom area in Gregson. Uh-huh. It's really nice. Which I think there's, there's two per floor. I, I think so. I think there's one on each side of the building. Yes. Um, so let's go to 141 first, and then let's see what we can do. And honestly, a lot of these rooms are so similar. Very, very corners. Similar. Corners are a little different. And I think there was a request to see a corner on first yeah. floor. We could probably do that. Awesome. So as you walk in here, you see that there's two beds. Um, Go 360 here. Yeah. You got a view of Gibson right across the lake, which is uh -huh. awesome. Um, but each person gets a desk. These desks come with drawers, so you can mm -hmm. do whatever you want in them. Um, you also get kind of like a little dresser set up, so each person gets one of these. Each person gets a closet. There's a towel rack mm -hmm. on the back of these closets um, right here. And then you can open them. Cool thing about these closets is they're very deep. Um, yeah, they are deep. A little thing to hang your clothes on, a little shelf, and then there's some extra storage up here. Yeah. J Math asked, is this a co ed dorm? And yes, it is. Yeah. Men and women both live here. I know someone said that they wanted to. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we were going to give some uh, measurements to yeah. the uh, uh, inside the thing. Yeah, inside there. So the depth of it is 22 inches. So let me see. This is for um, HCCCSLIP, and we're getting, sorry, how much did you say? The depth is 22 inches. 22 inches deep. And then across was about 52 inches. 52 inches yeah. deep, okay. And then height to the first shelf, maybe? There's the full height. That's going to be 15 inches. Okay. Well, I actually mean uh, this shelf right here. This from right here. Yes, please. Cool. Thank you. That's 65 inches. 65 inches. I hope that helps with your dimensions. Um, 138 is a corner room that was called out, and there's been some requests for corner rooms. So that will be the one that we hit is 138. Awesome. Um, 
Otherwise, really, these rooms are so similar. Yeah. Let me see. Who, um, uh, we got a request to measure the dresser drawers. So we'll measure those for people, which I think the drawers look exactly the same. Yes. So we'll give the cubic volume in there. That's going to be 20 inches. Okay. 33 inches. 33. And then you, we may have to guesstimate on that. I'd say about seven. Nine inches. Nine. Six inches, sorry. Okay. Upside down. About six, six inches. About six yeah. inches there in terms of height of the drawer for, uh, for Julie. Um, uh, we got asked who regulates the temperature in the room. And you do have some level of control here. Yeah. But don't think that you can like set it to 50. Like it won't. Lowest well, is like 68. Yes, yes. And we strive to keep the temperature around 72. Yeah. Um, Arkansas weather can get unseasonal at times. Like yeah. in the cold times, it'll get a little bit warm sometimes, and the opposite will happen. Bring a um, fan. Yeah. Bring a fan. Yeah. Like yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're smart to bring the items you need to make yourself comfortable when you don't have complete control over yes. the setting. But like up in the 80s or down in the 50s, it's not going to get in that terrain in your rooms or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, Julie, hope that helped. And measure, okay. Um, can you measure from the towel hanger to the bottom of the door? You bet we can. I would measure both, honestly. Both. Okay. That's from the end of the, of the hard, hardware there. That's going to be 68 inches. 68 inches. And from the bar itself... Seventy inches. Seventy inches. Okay, I hope you got those two numbers there. Um, again, that corner that we're going to look at, I believe, is one thirty-eight. Um, let's see if any other questions have come in. Um, can you show where the outlets are located? We sure can. Uh, uh, there's five outlets, ten plugs. I there's guess. There's an outlet by that desk right, right there. There's one right there. Um, there's also an outlet behind this bed. You can see it right yeah. there. There's another one right there that you can see. Um, there's a set of four outlets right here where the dresses are. Right. So that's four right there. Well, and then five would be behind here. So that's where all five of them are. And it equals 10 plugs. And you're welcome to use a power strip. We just yes. recommend you use the kind that are more like, um, that will prevent, um, not the cheapest kind, the kind that actually have some element of protection. Yeah. Um, who do we email about lifting the bed? Do you happen to know the answer to that? Yeah, so what you're gonna do is you're going to basically go on Google, you're gonna type on type in UARC, U-A-R-K, fix it. So F-I-X-I-T. Um, that'll bring up a form. Click on that, click on the link, basically the first one that pops up. Um, and it's just a form where you can fill out basically the information of the room you're gonna be staying in, that you want your bed lofted. And what was the date again to do it? Before? They have till the end of the month. Yeah, so you have until the end. What, a couple days, three days yeah, left? a couple days until the end of this month, and it will be done by the time we get here. Yeah. yeah, that's if you want it done. And I will say that these look like the kind that you cannot do yourself because they need another piece. They need another piece to be done into lofting. Now, you can always get it lofted after you've arrived, yes. too. It's just understand you'll go into a queue at that point. Um, a couple more questions about in here before we go to the corner. Uh, can you measure the inside wall where the dressers are? Which is oh, this indentation here. I'm the 25 inches. 25 in that direction, yeah. 78 inches. 78 in that direction, and then height would be really ceiling to floor. Yeah, which you can find on the housing website mm -hmm. to look at in, uh, information about her. Uh, is there any drawer that has a lock? And in here, I don't actually see one that has a lock on it. So if you want that, you might bring a safe. Yeah. Or um, I think if you go to the housing, web, no, the move-in website specifically, you can rent a safe. Yeah. So you might rent one or buy one because they don't have a locking door in this one. Locking, yeah. Okay, well, that was the questions here. We can go into the rest of them in the other room. So do you mind taking us over to 138? Uh, yeah, I've got them in my hand. Put them in my pocket. I'll grab it real quick. Oh. 
Um, a question about what if you and your roommate both show up? We're looking for one that says master on there. I'll, I'll, 138. Oh, 138. It's right there, I think, or something. Yes. It's pretty close, which is great. Uh, what if you and your roommate both show up with a refrigerator? So this is a great opportunity to communicate between roommates to make sure you don't have two refrigerators. Um, I can't remember if we allow for two refrigerators in the room. I don't think we do. And it's just a great time for you and your you and your roommate to talk and discuss and say, hey, you bring the TV, I'll bring the refrigerator. This is 138. This is, uh, you're going to see the beds up. That's because they haven't been readied exactly for your arrival. And, but we're happy to show. Here's 138. If this is your room. This is a corner room. So Julie asks about um, how we have co-ed residence halls and asks, is it just room to room to room? Typically, that's not how we do it. And Gregson, since the restrooms are public, they're going to be separated by floor if they're mm-hmm. co-ed. So this floor may be all women, but the floor above it would be all men. Yeah. Um, something like that, just to make sure that there's no confusion about restrooms or anything, anyone feels unsafe. Um, but that's typically how we separate it. That is, that is. Um, occasionally, we have some halls, particularly in Pomfret, where we can do a half and a half. Yes. And so we'll do half male, half female. But those doors are closed to give each group privacy. Mm-hmm. Um, we've had been asked, can you measure the windows, please? And I think that's the windows in here. We're happy to do that for you. Thanks for all your great questions. Do you need me to pull this down? I can pull yeah. this down if that's helpful. By the way, bed toppers are never a bad thing. A lot of people buy, get bed toppers. That's going to be about 48 inches. 48 inches. And then can we get... Top to bottom, I can move that out a little. Fifty six. Fifty six around. What was the first one? Thirty eight. Uh, forty eight. Forty eight. Fifty six. And also, I want to add that, like, to double check all these measurements, you can go to the housing website, and the measurements of the windows should be up there. They should. Um, we also have a new thing going on in the housing website as well, where you can basically walk into a room. Um, and there's going to be a little measurement tool that's pretty mm-hmm. easy to identify, and then you can measure certain things that are in yourself, and it'll give you exact measurements. Yeah, click on the uh, what looks like a, a ruler, yeah. and that'll open up the interface where you can take one point and then pull across, and it'll give you the actual yeah. measurements of it. And that's new this year, so check it out. And those are on the hall pages. Mm-hmm. Any other questions for us as we're going through Gregson Hall and looking at rooms? We're in a corner room now which is a little more atypical. Yeah. Um, but we're here to answer a couple more questions if you'd like. Um, now, did you tell us what you studied? So I'm a double major in political science and news editorial journalism with a double minor in gender studies and Southern studies. Wow. Um, so yeah, that's what I study here. I focus on sexual violence prevention. I work nationally and do activism in that field. And I'm kind of gearing everything that I study towards that. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, when we were asked about that window, we were asked about the other window too. I Can you just eyeball it and uh, say, I think they are, I feel like they're very, very they similar. They're very, very similar and also, I mean, I can... Just in case, we'll do the width there. Yeah. That was 48 on the other one, so... That does not <laughs> At least we're not doing it with the manual anymore. That was so difficult. And there could be a chance on that. Yeah. I think it's catching on there, one thing, but if you get it. I may have measured that one wrong, because this one's saying 27. So it may be closer to 28 rather than 48. Okay, okay. But again, I, I would Would it be easier if I put my hand right here? Yeah, that would definitely. Oh no, this one says 48. Okay, so, so it is 48. Yeah. 48. Okay. I must be hitting one of these streets. I think that's what was happening because I was seeing the light pop up there. So yeah, 48 is what we're looking at there in terms of window width, which is the same as the other. Okay. What's next? Any other questions for us? If not, that's fine. We just want you to have a chance to explore these rooms and. Um, I don't know. So you were a first year student, what, just 
Two years ago? Two years ago, yes. And did you know everybody or did you meet people? I graduated from school to have one other person coming here. We were not friends yes. during high school, so we didn't hang out. Uh, so I just chose to get involved on campus. So uh -huh. I got involved in student government, but now I am the daytime chair for university programs. So finding things like that um, allows you to involve and meet friends that you'll have for the rest of your life. Um, you can also do that through Pick One. Mm -hmm. So we, I know housing's been advertising Pick One. So if you want to be involved in National Residence Hall Honorary or NRHH, you can definitely check that out and pick that as your Pick One. They do a lot of service events, but you can also choose university programs if you want to work with me. That'd be great. There you go. But yeah. The nice thing is that you can choose that before you even arrive on campus yes. and just get plugged in mm -hmm. with the community before you even arrive. And, and this is a, a great community by itself, but then there's lots of little smaller communities and you're going to find yes. whatever place feels right for you. Um, a question from Emma Grace uh, about can you measure the window in the normal room? And we can. I think we're done here in, yeah. this, in this room. And we'll go ahead and turn off the light. And probably the next people entering here are going to be the actual residents. So yes. good for you. Off You've got the key? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. I don't think I uh, locked up that other room, so we can go in there and we can measure the window. In 141. It looks like two of those put together, so my guess is going to be a little over 90 inches. Right? 48 plus 48, yeah. maybe? Do you need me to put yeah, okay. my hand? Okay. Eighty-one inches. Eighty-one inches across so on that one. That was a little off. Yeah, eighty-one inches is what we got on the measurement yeah. there. Uh, you want to go ahead and give height? Yes. I think fifty-six or something was what it was last time. Fifty-six again. Fifty-six. Yeah. Okay. Great, yeah, and um, I would say if you're looking at if you're looking at a tension rod to create curtains, um, I would highly recommend you, you experience how dark they can get first. Yeah. Rather than mess with a tension rod. Um, now, decorative elements up along the top would be really nice, but they get pretty dark. They get yeah. surprisingly dark. They're not blackout level, without a doubt, not blackout level, but they are. And you can definitely clip things onto this. I think that there's things to clip curtains or other decorative elements on the top of mm -hmm. yeah. the blinds. And if these do not work, they usually do, like we, we keep them in good repair, but if they do not work, just contact us to fix it and we'll fix it for you. Like that's, yeah. that's our duty is to fix those and keep them working for you. Um, okay, well, great. Well, thank you so much for all the wonderful questions and thank you for your time yeah, too, measuring stuff for us. Uh, do you mind uh, waving us out? Yeah, it was um, nice to get to talk to y'all today. Um, I can't wait to see y'all on campus, and I hope y'all have a smooth move in. Thank you. Mm -hmm.